Hi. So I know that uh, decentralization is the ultimate and final goal. Uh, I know you made mention of uh, breaking and challenging traditions. Uh, do you feel that a radical change and transformation to this can be accepted and adopted with ease? <clears throat> or do you feel that a more gradual transition is the more logical route with uh, more honest and transparent centralization methods of uh, methods and practices for uh, mainstream public adoption? Um, I think uh, neither is really the correct answer. Um, first of all, I don't think you can have gradual transformation. It, history shows us that uh, disruptive innovation never works in a gradual fashion. Um, revolutionary change, if you read about uh, you know, the, the philosophy of science, if you read Knuth, if you read uh, the history of science, what you will see is uh, this form of punctuated equilibrium, where you have the status quo and tradition establish um, kind of a plateau where ideas are relatively stale for very long periods of time, and then a little spark knocks everything out of equilibrium. Uh, it gets very chaotic for a short period, and then it resettles into a new norm. Uh, and we see that again and again in science. We also see it in technology. We also see it in politics. We see it in society. Gradual is not the way of this world. Uh, what you have is systems that build up uh, energy within them until they reach a tipping point. And then uh, some event, uh, you never know what kind of event it will be, triggers that tipping point, and you have a sudden cascade into a new reality. We will not see a gradual transition into a new world um, through these technologies. And part of the reason is that there are many places in the world where people will not wait. Um, where mainstream adoption is not going to be done because of a whim, it's going to be done because of a desperate need. Talk to a Venezuelan, an Argentinian, a Brazilian, a Kazakhi, a Ukrainian, um, perhaps even a Greek or a Cypriot, and they will tell you that um, looking at these types of technologies as a safe haven, as an exit, as a safety valve from failing uh, monetary systems is a very real possibility. Uh, and when you have that level of desperation, there is nothing to stop people from adopting them. Now, um, I can guarantee you that we do not need acceptance. We do not need uh, the participation of the old system. We do not need the permission of the traditional systems in order to succeed. Uh, people will use these things because they are useful, and they will use them because they can opt in and choose to use them when they feel they are ready, when we give them a use case when we give them an application that is sufficiently compelling to overcome their comfort zone. And then they will find a way to use these technologies. Uh, but I certainly don't uh, expect that we will see this primarily driven by traditional institutions gracing us with permission and acceptance, uh, so that we can innovate from within, disrupt the disruptors, Create change from within the organizations. That stuff doesn't happen. In reality, large organizations can't do that. And they get disrupted from the outside, most of the time very painfully, and few of them survive in their original form. So start learning the skills, polish up your resume, and get ready for a roller coaster. This is going to be fun. <laughs>